What's going on YouTube? Welcome to the JR Experiences IJR back with a brand new video. This video is all about Mr. Tank and his brand new album. This is how I feel. His fifth studio album that just came out this past Tuesday. And the way I feel about the album, this album is awesome. In my black vernacular, this the word awesome does not come out my <laughs> out my mouth very much, but that's the word. I guess this album is awesome. Great album. Must have to put in your collection. If you love R&B, you have to put this in there along with everything else you have. You've been missing R&B. You're saying there ain't good R&B out there. Hey, Tank came through for you. Tank really came through. This is one of the best albums of 2012 so far. Okay, I'm going to put that stamp of approval on it. Bam! One of the best R&B. This album should be nominated for a Grammy for sure in the best R&B album next year. You heard it here first. Okay, so when you see it, like, hey, the JR, JR said it. JR said this album was to be nominated. You heard it from me. Okay, so let's get into the track by track. Okay, there's 10 solid songs on there, pretty much 10 songs, 13, but one intro, two interludes, but even those are still good. So about 10 solid, 10 tracks. So let's get into it. How I Feel starts off the album, which is the intro. Really good intro. Tank always has really good intros, even on past albums, and this one as well. How I Feel really sets the tone and the mood of this album. And goes so after that, it goes straight into Lonely featuring Chris Brown which is another really, really good song, really good song. Uh, pretty much talking about, you know, he, he don't have his, his, his girl's gone, he's, he's replaced her, but she does not do what the, his old his ex used to do, and he's back in the clubs, and he just, you know, he still has her on his mind. So even though this new chick is here, he still feels lonely. You know, I think people can relate to that. You thought you moved on, and, you, and you're still looking back, like, hmm, well... Still lonely, you know. We all, you know, we all grown. We, we all can relate to that. So, so let's go into track three, which is "Your One." "Your One" is one of them songs. "Your One" is another really good track. One of my favorite songs on the album. It's my second favorite on the album. Very close. It's like one B to one A, and I'll get to one A later on. But a really, really good track. And I want to put another uh, thought about this album. You have to put a disclaimer along with the parental advisory. It should be another small box on the left-hand side that says, this album could potentially get you pregnant. Okay, it should be in a small box off to the side and have somebody that, it should have a person that, a skinny woman, and then all of a sudden, and then another picture of her, boop, with a, with a little baby bump. Okay, it should be a picture. I'm, I'm serious. I'm serious, okay? This album could potentially get you pregnant, ladies. So, if you get home from a long day of work, and there's food cooking and your man's cooking. He got this. He got uh, your one on or a couple other songs on this album. Get ready to become pregnant. <laughs> okay. Okay, because it's going down. Okay, it's going down. No games. Okay, straight, no chaser. Okay, that's how it's going down. So let's just let's move on. But your one's a great song. Great track. Um, so let's move along. Uh, Compliments is track four featuring T.I. and Chris Stevens. Good song. Pretty much talk, making a girl feel good. Complimenting her. Making it feel like a million bucks. T.I. does his thing on it. And uh, just a really good song. Uh, moving along to uh, Don't Give Up. Don't Give Up is my 1A I was talking about. This is, the, to me, the best song on the album. Don't Give Up. Pretty Once when you go to work, girl, work, girl. And once you first start singing, it's like, uh-oh. And it, let me just give you a lyric to the song. Okay, then you get the gist of what I'm talking about. Okay, let me give you a lyric. I'm still trying to shake the headboard a few more positions to go. That is a lyric from, the, from this song, okay? Let me repeat that, okay? Make sure let me get my, get my notes right. Let me make sure I got this right now. I'm still trying to shake the headboard a few more positions to go. That's all you need to know, okay? It's going down, straight no chaser. I told you this album could get you pregnant. And just the, the, just the production on this song and just everything about it. Just The song just oozes sex, but you see... What Tank and like R. Kelly and a lot of other artists, like old school artists, Tank and R. Kelly, they're old school. I mean, when you go way back, the way they can talk about sex in a, in a song, they make it uh, mental. Where well, you can see it happening, you see things going on. You know, so it's like uh, you can, it's good visuals. And R. Kelly and Tank, you know, who are like the only, you know, very few artists. You know, you know, Trey Songz talks about sex, but he does it a different type of way. He does a good job too, but the way Tank and R. Kelly do it. They do it. They do it very well. Visualize and make you visual. <laughs> put put paint pictures in your head, and that's what that's what you want, and that's what you need. That's what he does on this album. So don't give up. You know, pretty much telling the girl, hey, 
Don't stop. I'm not stopping, so don't give up on me now in this bedroom. Let's move along, okay? Next song called Nowhere <laughs> featuring Buster Rhymes. Nowhere is a good song. Good uh little little up tip a little shake up from Don't Give Up and uh really good track, feel good song, and you guys will really like that as well. Another song that could get you pregnant is off your hands. You know, pretty much saying he sees a woman. And, you know, he sees her with an old dude, and he's like, you know what, let me take that off your hands. I got some things. I can do some things with that. Let me take her off your hands, okay, and let me have my way with her. Boom, point blank, period. Okay, got the gist of it? Yes, you did. <laughs> okay, going into This Is How I Feel, pretty much putting all the cards on the table. This is track nine. This is how I feel. Telling, old, telling this girl, this is how I feel about you. And she'll put it all out there. I think we've all been there before, fellas, females, everybody. Next Breath is what uh, the first single off this album pretty much saying, you know, I need you like my next breath. I think any that that's the song right there. Fellas, if you want to sing to your girl, I sing that song right there, Next Breath, to your, to your lady. Uh, make her feel good. Say, you know what, girl, I need you like my next breath. Okay? Now, if you've been treating her like shit for about 10 years, she ain't going to believe you. But, you know, you've been treating her good, you know, but you want to shake things up. You know, go karaoke one time. Just sing this song right now, okay? You, you'll, you'll pay off for you. It may not pay for you at the karaoke bar, but it'll pay off. You got me. <laughs> uh, moving on to Better Than Me. Better Than Me is another good track. Better Than Me, uh, pretty much talking about you've moved on and we've broken up, but I hope the next guy you find treats you better than me. You know, I hope he treats you like a queen. I hope he treats you... Uh, like uh, the Queen of England, okay, and just put you on a pedestal and, you know, hope he just treats you better than me. You know, I think that's hard to say for anybody. When you break up with somebody, you don't want the person to treat them, you know, you want the person to do well, but you want to be smiling too goddamn much, you know, like, damn, I thought I did something good. <laughs> but you still always wish them well. So let's move along to the last song this album is called Lost It All. Talking about, all right, since I, I lost you, I, they could take me to jail, they could rob my house. They can, uh, I can lose my job. It does not matter because I've already lost it all because I already lost you. And Heartbreak is a Mother. So that's a really good track on this song. It's a good track. Last song on the album. Great album, folks. I'm really serious right now. Good R&B is out there. This is one of them. Go pick up This Is How I Feel. Just came out on Tuesday. Go support good music. Keep it going. You want to have good music on the on the radio? You gotta go support. You got these people gotta do numbers. They do numbers. You gotta make people's eyes go. Whoa, okay. Tank sold some albums, or such and such sold some albums. You gotta put it out there. And people who say that's not good R&B out there, it is out there. Tank. You got up and coming artist and L Varner, who is a breath of fresh air, who's out there. Another good R&B artist. I want you guys to check out. If you don't know, older cats know who I'm, what I'm talking about. I'm only 26 years old, but. Another good album out there, not good album, good artist, great artist, one of the most underrated R&B artists in the world right now, his name Kim, K-E-M. If you don't know who Kim is, you got to get into him. You want good r and I'm talking about albums start to finish all day long, every single one of his albums, perfect. Go look at the numbers, go look at his, if you go to Amazon and put in Kim, nothing but five stars, nothing but five stars, go check out why, go check out why, but there's good R&B out there. Like I said, Tank, L. Varner, Kim, because you're not going to get this song. You're not going to get this from Usher. Usher's album that's coming out, he, this ain't going to be nothing like Tank. Chris Brown's album is going to be nothing like Tank's. Okay, they're two different artists. Usher's on his whole pop tip. Chris Brown, too. They try to mix the two. Tank, you want good, straight up, like I said, straight no chaser, R&B, just the way you like it, like back in the 90s or whatever. Hey, go support it. Go, hey, go look for it. Go find it. It is there. So, hope you enjoyed this review. I went a little bit longer than I wanted to, but I really like this album. Hope you really enjoyed this review. This is the JR Experience. Go to my other videos. Uh, a lot more videos you want to check them out. Many more videos to come. Rate this video. Comment. Leave your thoughts about this album. And leave your thoughts about R&B, period. Leave your thoughts about what you feel about this album and other people as well. So, tell me how you feel. Subscribe. Subscribe to my channel, like I said. Many more videos to come. Hope you enjoy. This is the JR Experience. Peace. I'm through.